Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hey, Kalina. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Did you have a great weekend? Yes. Yes. Good. What did you do? Um, with the family, you know. Uh, went some place, probably a restaurant to eat something with the family. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Let me see. Everybody's coming in. <clears throat> Hello, Nuri, welcome. Hello, Esther, Mirna, Miguel Franco. Hello, teacher. All right, more people coming in, I don't know. Teacher, I was um, with the first part of, of the platform, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I have some problem with, with uh, uh, some of the... To complete sentences. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I have the same problem. Yeah. the, the part you know i i, I believe that i'm doing good uh mm -hmm. let's say the party you have to start with the with the a capital letter and then you the period of, at the end and you know i try to complete the, the sentence or combine the sentences but it's very difficult i, I cannot complete no one of them is is, is good all oh, keep me a problem and the first one, also the 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 first one. Uh, I forgot the the first one. I only complete two of them because the other one is just a little complicated. Um, don't worry about it because that tends to happen. Sometimes the platform the platform doesn't work. Yeah, but you know, if you if you don't complete that, you, you can reach the, the 80 percent. No, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's yeah. always a big problem. Hold on, let me check. I'm opening it. Okay, let's do this knowledge check together. Thank you. It says, Ada, Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. Gary, I know. It really bothers him. Sam can't stand. Having nothing to do, right? Having nothing to do or to have nothing to do. Mm-hmm or having nothing to do to have nothing to do with. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, so number one, Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. Gary, I know, it really bothers him. Sam can't stand, what did you guys put? Let's, let's copy paste one of these. Yeah, for me, it works uh, having nothing to do. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, let's do that one. Let's copy paste. Okay, Vic, I hardly ever go to school parties anymore. 
June. Me neither. They are not as much fun as they used to be. Vic and John avoid. Going to, go, go to parties. Going, going out to party. Going out, going to parties. Let's going do. to a school Oops. party. Or I, th I think just to parties. Let's do going to parties. But listen, they're all correct. Everybody says going out to parties, going to school parties, going to parties all the time. Hey, we have the idea. Sometimes the platform is bad because it only wants one correct answer and it's really, yeah. it's really yeah. optional. <clears throat> Number three, Tina, you visit your parents on the weekends, don't you? Mm -hmm. Leslie, yes, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy the rest of the week. Leslie prefers. I, I began with the problems with the, you know. But what, what, what do you think it would be? Um, what does Leslie prefer? For, for example, sp spending with spending the Sundays with her part with her parents, but. Visiting her parents on Sunday. Maybe. I, I do. Okay, although the although the verb here is spend. Yeah. Spend and visit, but uh, spending, right? So she likes spending Sundays with her parents. Mm -hmm. And I, I know it's gonna be right, it's gonna be wrong. I, I put that that answer it was wrong it was wrong I, yes I um know. once again um don't worry about it because sometimes <laughs> this is this is never going to change but um sometimes the platform they only whoever invented this platform was very bad <laughs> because he had to give options yeah the idea is his or her idea no it does not there's more than one possible answer so don't worry about it Mm -hmm. But of course, it has to be related. <laughs> yes. So don't say Leslie prefers coffee to Coke. That's totally wrong because it has nothing to do with, with the idea. Okay. <clears throat> it says Tom. It says, Tom, are you going to take an Italina? I don't know what Italina is. Italian. Are you going to take? <laughs> yes. Are you going to take an Italian class this summer? Ivy, yes, I am. I love to learn new languages. Ivy is into? Like learning here. Yeah. But learning new language. language. Mm -hmm. And I imagine it's going to be wrong. Yeah. Ong, um, <laughs> do you want to go rock climbing with me this weekend, Sue? I don't know. Rock climbing sounds dangerous. Sue is worried about climbing. Going, going rock climbing. Rock climbing. Have you seen those people that climb rocks with no protection, only with their hands? Like, yeah. Those are crazy people, man. That's an extreme sport. <laughs> Okay, it says, Josh, what sort of volunteer work do you do for the library? Celia? Celia, I love kids, so I volunteer as a children's storyteller on Saturdays. <laughs> Celia enjoys... Being a storyteller. <laughs> no. oh. Loving kids. Oh. Or being a volunteer. <laughs> being a I volunteer, do. or she yeah. loves reading to children on Saturdays. Um. But good. I mean, the three answers I heard, the three are related to the idea. I love kids, yeah. so I volunteer as a children's storyteller. So she loves volunteering as a children's storyteller. Let's see. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, my God. I got them right. Oh, no, no. Wait, let me submit. No, submit. 
Mm. <laughs> okay. Are you, you got learning? You so number know? one, having nothing to do, going to parties. Yeah. Number two, that would be the correct. You know, I do, I do learning new languages, but it doesn't work for me. Okay, uh, let me see. But it worked for you. Learning new languages. Did you put yeah. it in plural? Yeah, learning. I think I did learning a new, a new languages. No, because it's, it's plural. Look at the example. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Number five, missing Jeremy. Oh man, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, let me turn off my phone. Sorry, I have Pink Floyd as my ringtone. Uh, I mean, your language. Uh, okay. Um, so number three, it says, Tina, you visit your parents on the weekends, don't you? Leslie, yes, I spend Sundays with them. I'm too busy the rest of the week. Leslie prefers spending Sunday with her parents. So it says it's not correct. Answers, visiting her parents on the weekend or to visit their parents on the weekend or visiting her parents on the weekend. What the hell? You see, this is the problem because Leslie never said, she never mentioned the verb visit. She said spend. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe Tina you can write with them, spending Sundays with them. Yes, I mean the two are correct. So don't feel bad if oh man, it's not correct. All these possibles are correct. It's visit or spend. I have a question. Do you know what spend is in Spanish? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is spend? Uh, sure. Pas pasar. Sure. Pasar yeah. tiempo, compartir Pasar tiempo. tiempo with, con ellos, compartir But, o gastar. Yeah, literalmente spend is gastar, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe sure. No, because you spend time, you spend money. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but... In, the, Teacher, in, the, in I... this situation... Excuse me. Go ahead. Yes. Who said teacher me i have one question so sure. um if the if the platform uh said that the answer is not correct does it affect like our performance in the class unfortunately in the class in my class no okay. with them unfortunately yes and um i would recommend you to tell them but please hey this is not the only answer there are many possible answers So, for example, um, if it's like in your case, the one that you're showing us right now in your screen, yes. um, is it possible like they will say you don't have the correct level to advance to the next model because you have like this performance and you got no, all no, no, this. No, no, they won't say that. They oh, okay. Say that. No. Okay, that was my question. Thank you. No, you're welcome. So listen, back to spend. The difference, there's two words, <clears throat> spend, and then there is waste. Waste. Have you heard that word before, waste? Yes. Waste and spend is the same thing, except waste is for something negative. Spend is for something positive. For example, you spend money on your family, correct? Yes. Hello? You, you yes. waste money on the casino. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. You waste money on the casino and you spend money with your family. So mm -hmm. waste is for negative things. Okay. Ese lo feo porque en español spend solo es gastar. Mm -hmm. You know, no gasta el tiempo con su familia. So you're ofensivo. Mm -hmm. In Spanish is share. Share. Time. Yes, exactly. In Spanish is you share time. So in English, there's a there's two words for that. We have waste mm -hmm. and we have spend. 
Yes, spend is for something affirmative, something good. And waste, of course, is for something negative, something bad. All right. Now, in this case, number three, I am very angry because <clears throat> they never even mentioned the verb visit. They mentioned the verb spend. Yeah. So spend is correct. Pero, okay, let's do this. This is what they want. Okay, now let's do number five. Do you want to go rock climbing with me this weekend? Sue, no, mm. I don't know. Rock climbing seems dangerous. Sue is worried about rock climbing. Going. Yeah, Going because you see, you see, this is why I'm telling you, I don't think it's correct because she's not worried about going. She's worried about the action of climbing rocks. Yes? No? Hello, class. Can you hear me today? Yes. yes okay, yes. please I, answer. But in this so, case, climbing is no gerund. Oh, yes. Yes, it's the gerund. No. Yes. No. I, I did uh, the way going, going climbing or go, going to rock climbing. Going rock climbing. Going mm -hmm. rock. You got it wrong? Yeah. That's no, good. That's no, good. All right, let's do number six. It says, what sort of, oh, I, I didn't do this one. So that is volunteer. What sort of volunteer, uh, in my case, by a ejemplo, listen, what sort of volunteer work do you do for the library, Celia? Celia, I love kids. So I volunteer as a children's storyteller on Saturdays. So maybe the verb here is volunteer. So Celia enjoys volunteering. Mm -hmm. That's one possible because, or Celia enjoys reading to kids on Saturday. That's another possible. Let me see what the correct. She yeah. enjoys volunteering. Just okay. volunteering, yeah. All right, I got them all correct now. <laughs> You got it. The important thing is that you know. All right, so you enjoy volunteering. Yeah. And then number three, what was right? Number three is visiting. Tina visiting. Visiting her, her parents, parents on the weekend. I brought that in the platform saying that it was wrong. Sometimes the platform, it always gets se traba, stuck. <laughs> yes, yeah, now always. I know. <laughs> Let's do the next thing. Hey, hey, you have to be you careful with one, one letter, right? Problem. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so le uh, lesson objective. It says at the end of this section, participants will be able to talk about how people have changed and practice using the vocabulary. How have you changed? Let's listen to this. Can you hear? No. No. I no, no teacher. No. Welcome. What about you now? Know, most people now change over the years. Okay. Yeah. How have you changed, let's say, over the last five years? What do you want to change now? Complete the following chart. How have you changed? Describing how you've changed. I used to be, but now I'm, and more, now I enjoy. Describing how would you like to change? I'm interested in, I'd like to be more. Three things I've changed, three things I would like to change. Now that you have completed the chart, discuss your information with a partner. Try asking follow-up questions. All right, let's do this again. 
and more Let's 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 tell me something you used to be, but now you're not. <laughs> How have you changed? I used to be a preschool teacher. But now I'm a Spanish teacher. All right, cool. Nice. But can you tell me something more about like your personality or your, how you have changed? Well, I mean, that is a change from a preschool teacher too. But what about um, something you have changed personally or sentimentally or? Example. I used to be easy going, but now I am serious. Okay, good. Okay. Good. I used to be romantic, but now I'm married. Hey, what about? <laughs> I'm joking, Kalina. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, when you're married, you don't need to be romantic. You're you're married. There's no escape now. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh. Mirna, oh. welcome. Hello, my computer. Uh, I don't know what happened with my microphone. All right. Okay, cool. And I'm eating. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. So um, let me see. I used to be very patient before. Now I'm not. I don't know if that happens to you when you get older. <clears throat> of um, me, for example, was a uh, um, patient, or or maybe before I couldn't stand uh, um, uh, the kids playing around me. But now I am more patient with the kids uh, since I have my my, my little baby. Uh, yeah, oh, okay. I used to. I used okay, to not, yeah, that's cool. Not to, um, oh, I used to be impatient, right? Yeah, I remember one time I went to a reunion of my wife in her job, and I did a terrible mistake, and I went with her to the reunion, <clears throat> and the majority of of her coworkers were in their twenties, yeah. and oh my god. I had no patience. I told my wife, I'm sorry, I'm a boy. Uh, I can pick you up later. Really, because they started talking about, oh my God, let's go to the uh, Bad Bunny concert or that Rodrigo, oh, or Nadal, no. Nadal, Nadal, Torres, whatever that. And they started talking about all this, like, and I was, oh my God, what am I doing here? So I have no patience. I used to be patient, now I'm not. 20 years ago, maybe. Oh, yeah, let's go. And inside it's the look, I'm not going to that car. But I was, oh, that's good. You like Bad Bunny? Hey, good for you. But now I don't have patience. What about you, Jenny? How did you used to be? Um, I used to be angry, but now I am patient. <laughs> wow, that's 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally the other way it's normally the other way you know i used, to be, I used to be angry very angry with my sisters i actually mm, fight with them <laughs> physically physically fight no no like with uh, phrases oh so then you used to argue i argue <clears throat> but now uh, i just be quiet. Hey, that's good. Yeah. Ignore them because they are crazy. All right, good. When I was a teenager, I used to be very crazy. Now, now I think I am normal. Yeah. 
I used to be like a very big rock fan. I used right. to paint my nails black, but <laughs> I used to paint my eyes black. You know, you know the patch mode, the group. You the were emo. Mode. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't emo. I don't know. I don't know why. Why emo? They, they gave a bad name. No, I, I, I used to, I used to have green hair, purple hair. Really. There's a there's a pink hair. There's a more a punk, right? Yeah, I think I used to be. Well, yeah. Kind but of, I, kind of I, I used to be very, very into like Guns and Roses, the Patch Mode, U2, Metallic, Nirvana, and yeah, that was the kind of music like, uh, the like industrial, industrial music. Yes. Like, yeah, was alternative rock maybe. Yes. So now, but now I am normal. <laughs> Now I, I don't like those kids. Like, well, oh, I, I never liked emo kids. I want to punch them. <laughs> All right, what about you, Luis Molina? How, how did you used to be? Okay. I used when you to were be... a kid. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I used to be a fat, but now I am fit. All right, cool. I used to be fat, but what is your secret, sir? Oh, you run a lot. Yeah, it's a, a practice okay. exercise every day. Okay, one uh -huh. thing. One thing very important here. Remember, exercise is a verb. And practice is a verb. So you can never put two verbs together. A practice to, to do exercise. No? Only, you can only say, I exercise every day. Ex okay. Because remember, it's a verb. It's like, I eat every day. I run every day. I exercise every day. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, and now we see here, describing how you would like to change. I would like to be more or I'm interested in. How would you like to change Oscar Osvaldo? Like to do more uh, or less, maybe I would like to be less sleepy. Maybe. Less what? Sleepy. Okay. Less of sleepy. I would okay, like good. To be more sleepy. <laughs> what about you, Kalena? What is something you're interested in? Um, I'm interested in being uh, healthy, healthier. Oh, good. Yeah, that's very good. So what about I you, Nuri? To... Hmm? I'm sorry? Sorry, I, no, I don't know. So I have to change my diet. Okay, good. You have to say goodbye to pupusas. <laughs> cheese with pork. You know, like when you pull the cheese, like, mm, no more. Yeah. Um... I, I think it's funny how when, when you go to like a Burger King and you see women, usually the majority of the time is women. But they say, yes, I want this, that, 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 and a Diet Coke, please. Mm -hmm. You say, please, oh my That's God. Me. Oh, That's yes? Me, it is. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the Diet Coke is not going to save you. <laughs> Maybe it's a diabetic. But I, I, yeah, that's true. Maybe like me. Okay. Oh, you know what? I never thought about that. You're right. Yeah, you you went to the burger and have to order a, but, a burger, but there is nothing to drink for you if you are a diabetic. They have nothing more than water. So you have to get um, Diet Coke, yeah. a diet drink. Yeah. But hamburger is bad for you. Too. Yeah, I was going to say that, no, but what about... Not only sugar. The hamburger, is, the hamburger is very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very no, bad, but course. it's very good. Of course. Uh, oh, almost whatever you want to eat is 
Es Valhalla. Pero una vez al año. Yeah, well, Once a week. Maybe, maybe twice or thrice a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this everything good is so bad. Everything, every, really. And especially in El Salvador, because our typical food is extremely bad. Yeah. Everything. Is, everything is carbs. Yes. Everything. Yes, it's true. Everything is carbs. It's very expensive to have a good diet in El Salvador because. Yes. I try that when you go to the supermarket. You say no. I only want white meats and no carbs. But when you when you don't have carbs, then you say, "What do I buy then? <laughs> there's not there's no options like." You want pasta, spaghetti, and everything is carbs. You know, rice, beans, pasta, chow mein, soups. And it's, it's very difficult. All right, so I like to be, I like to be, or I'm interested in. All right, let me see the next. So let's listen to the audio program. Program, which person do you think would more likely do this things on the weekend? This, uh, blah. let me read this. Which person do you think would more likely do these things this weekend? Choose the right answer. Listen again. Which person do you think you would be more likely to do these things this right. weekend? Yes. Check Marcos Thank or you. Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two, Heather. I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So, I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. All right, so who do you think is going to stay out late and party? Marcos. Marcos? Yes. Stay home and watch no. TV. Uh, I'm sorry, who do you think it is? I think it's the girl, Heather. You think it's Heather? Yes. No. Yeah, because it's I remember Marco LCA. says he likes staying home, right? Yeah, because he's a family man now. I never heard. Number two, stay home and watch TV. Who do you think that is? Marcos. Marcos. I am Marco. Help a relative with personal problems. Marcos. Marcos. Invite a classmate to a funny movie. 
Heather. 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 All right, let me see. Hey, we got them all right. Yay! First time I think I do it with no no X. <laughs> okay, at the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use a noun clause after B. I think I told this to my previous class, but this is very important. Do you know what is a clause? It's a group of words that have a subject and a verb. <laughs> you remember? Thank you, Mirna. Yes, it's a group of verbs. Uh, uh, sorry. It's a group of words. It has a subject and a verb, correct? The reason why I'm telling you to remember that what a clause is because you will see many things. You will see if clause, time clause, mm -hmm. um, because clause, any, anything with clause. So for example, in here, it says at the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use noun clauses after B. So let's check this out. Let's listen to this. Hi, please read the following article. Can you find the noun clause in the last example? I'll give you 30 seconds to read it and identify it. You may begin. Did you find it? Let's do it together. There is only one bathroom. Noun clauses have to be. Remember, a noun clause is a group of words that function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on. The word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after be is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. Then, compare them with a partner in class. Number one. Let me check. Let me go back to this. Function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on the word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after B is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with. Okay. In, let's. Let's use a clause after is. All right, are, are, are we all here in is? So let's, let's, let's concentrate in is, and after that we need a non clause. So that means after that we need a sentence that will have, will have a subject and a verb. Sure. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me think. Carla Chavez, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. What, what is this? Um, what do you mean, what is this? Oh, wait, I, I'm not, I'm not seeing you. Wait a second. Oh, now I can see. It's like... One of your camera equipment. I don't know ex the war exactly, and that's your camera. Okay, it's a, it's a photo lens. Okay, it's a photo lens. So that is a photo lens that is. So let's 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 use photo lens. 
okay. The photo lens is used for a camera to take pictures, correct? Okay, yes. A cell phone is used to make calls, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's do, let's do, let's do, since you are a teacher, can you tell me what is one advantage about being a, te a teacher? So say, one advantage about being a teacher is? Okay, so an advantage of being a teacher is that you have a long summer vacation. Oh, that's true, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have two or three months, correct? Yeah, um, like nine weeks in total. Wow. Excuse me for my question, but do you get paid those months? Yes. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> nice. And you get and so you get like an advantage. And you get you get like holidays off always, right? Yes, so it depends, but this school that I work for because it's a bilingual school. So we have Christmas holidays, Easter holidays. Style. Yes. But that's better. Awesome. Yes, it is because I mean the regular national system only has like four weeks off on December and we have like nine weeks. No, and then another good thing is like um like in El Salvador, all the holidays they are exactly on that date. And in the United States it's like the first Sunday or the second Sunday of every month mm -hmm. of that month, or like the Friday of that month, always. Like for example, Mother's Day, I think is, I don't know if it's the first or second Sunday of every- The second Sunday day, teacher. Oh, okay. So you get, you get off Monday, correct? Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, if Mother's Day is Sunday, it's Sunday, man. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, no vacation for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's why I remember when I work with gringos, I they so do you want national holidays or no, I want American holidays. <laughs> <laughs> They're better. The sun for the Thanksgiving, I think, is on the third Thursday. Fourth. Oh, for Thursday. Yes. Right. Yeah, Thanksgiving is always November. on the fourth, fourth Thursday of November. Yes. Okay. Um, Mirna, what do you think is one of the most difficult things about being 18 is? Mm, I think... But answer complete. One of the most difficult things. One of the most difficult things that being about being about being 18, 18 is that you have to choose a career of the university. Oh my god, yes. Because it's a, a important decision. It is. What what are you going to study? Yeah, I I told you that I forget. Uh, oh no, you you will take time off, correct? Oh no. No, I'm sorry, I forgot. What what did you tell me? You were gonna study? Oh, you're gonna study that? Yes. Yeah, but but I don't I don't know how to say that. No quedé en esa carrera. I didn't make it. I did so what what happened? You didn't pass the exam. You didn't pass the exam? No, yeah, but uh, I I make the second option. I I study in uh, agronomy. I don't know. Agronomy. Yeah. And then the next year I, I'm gonna um the 
Okay. Right. Are in the in the national. <laughs> Is there a national university in Santana? Yes. No, but I'm starting in San Salvador. But actually, so you will come and live to San Salvador. Yeah, when uh, when uh, will be presidential class. Okay, cool, nice. All right, mm -hmm. nice. You have family in San Salvador. Where are you going to stay? My sister uh, works there. With the sister that you fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, can you imagine that? All right. That's gonna your your parents are going to be very happy. <laughs> yeah, we, my father wants that we live together. Of course, yes. I think every yeah. father would. And yes. I, my other sister uh, will move for together with us. Híjole, the three sisters. Yeah, I have no, yeah, I have three sisters with me, four. So your dad, your father had only four girls. Yeah. <laughs> Poor man. Oh man. I wanted a girl so bad when I went when my wife was pregnant. I really, really wanted a girl. And in 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 the exam and everything, it was a girl. Because really? I, yeah. And um I I I fell a little in depression when they told me it was a boy. Oh well no, my father my yeah. father once uh, the first time wants a girl, but then <laughs> he wants a boy. <laughs> and then and then another boy, another boy. <laughs> No, because I had when 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 um when I found out when they told me in the first ultra it was a girl, I I put like my mindset, okay, a girl. So then I started looking at little girls, like, wow, hey, this is cool. And I like how little girls say papi, 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 you know. And in fact, they can be 40. My wife, my wife, Lady says su papa papi. You know, hey, that's cool. My 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 baby will always call me papi, you know. But then um, and then when it became a boy, my wife called me, look, it's a boy. I said, really? Oh man. I mean, I but now I am so so happy I don't have a girl and I have a boy. <sighs> oh my god, I can't I, I can't imagine having a girl. I am very jealous. Yes, I am very jealous. So, so good. I have a boy, terrible boy. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Alex Cornejo, one of the best parts about being married is. Please is, tell me. <laughs> is the. You can share. You can share the good times. Good. Yeah, because when you are alone, when you are by yourself, you know, I think it's it's not the same. You know, it's not. It's not, yeah. it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. When you're married, you have a reason for everything. Right. All right. Cool. Nice. Jenny, what is one good thing about working in Anda? What is? Excuse me, Jenny. Do you work? Mm -hmm. Is is an you? I remember you working Anda, correct? This is correct. So, are you a government employee or Anda employee? Because I, Anda is always sometimes is government, sometimes it's not. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> it's both. Sometimes it is government. But uh, I had the prestation, the prestaciones. Uh huh. The uh, benefits. The benefits, uh, government. Government. Uh huh. But my vacation is with is the light autonoma. So that's better. I have the vaca government vacation, but I have the private the, vacations. 
yes, the private vacation. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Both. <laughs> so you get all the Semana Santas, all the... Doors, yes. And your 15 days of vacation. Yes. Wow, so you get maybe in the year, you get two months or more. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, uh, I... I have vacation 20, 21 days. 21 days. Yes. Nice. Good for you. Mm. Hey, that's a good example. So one of the good things about working for Anda is that you have both benefits, a private company and a government employee. Yeah. Awesome. That is, that is very, very heavy, very hard. That, that that work oh yeah of course mm. I, I imagine i was watching that the president inaugurated that or something the bava something like recently correct? yeah i i i worked about the the terrenos como se dice the lands the properties the lands the, the lands legal, legal land for oh, okay. uh, perforación de pozos. Oh, okay. Mm, pozos is, is wells. Oh, the wells. This is the first, the first thing for the start the project. Oh, okay. Mm. Hey, good for you. So you're a big part of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's continue. So, <clears throat> so that's how we use a clause after is. Like Carla, she said, one of the great things about being a teacher is that um, she has a lot of holidays, a lot of days off. Mirna said that one of the worst things about being 18 is that you have to really decide what to, what you, what you want to do. Uh, Alex said, one of the great things about being married is that you have a reason for everything. You're not alone. Yes. All right, good. So let's see the next example. It says, rewrite sentences, instructions, read the following sentences, then combine them. But you know what? You know what? Before we do this, since we only have like five more minutes, Jenny was the last person. So Jenny, I asked you, what uh, one? What is one of the great things about working in Anda? Is can you ask somebody, please? Except Mirna, except Alex and Carla. Ask somebody else okay. that you see in camera. Okay, let me see. Miguel Franco. <clears throat> yes. Okay. I. Pregúntele, ¿cuál es una de las cosas buenas de ser hombre? <laughs> what is the. One good thing. One this thing. No, what is one good thing? One good thing. About. 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 That being a man. Thing, being a man. The, the good thing to be a man is that one, you... One good thing about being a man. One good thing to being a man. About being a man. About, about being a man is that you... What I can, what I can say and... You like the woman? No, come on. No, because <laughs> hey, women like women too. But this is not correct. No, no, that's a matter of opinion. No, but I think one good thing, one good thing about being a man is that we can go to the bathroom anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe you don't have to go through the the period of pain. Oh yes. Mm. 
That's true. One good thing about being a man is that we don't have periods. Physically, but mentally sometimes. Yeah. No, but you know, like, as he comentó en el chiste, one good thing about being a man, porque lo he visto, and is that when we need to go to the bathroom, we go anywhere behind a tree or like, like when you're driving, there's no bathroom. Oh my God, oh my God, you just. It's easier. It's easier, yes. Easier For a woman, it's more difficult. Right. Yes. That's one good thing. What about you? Uh, what about a woman? <clears throat> Helena, can you tell me what is one good thing about being a man? As a woman point of view. I one good thing about being a man. They don't get pregnant. Can be, can be that. <laughs> yeah, but we it, don't get pregnant. But it's beautiful, get pregnant. Oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful yeah I, I you know now that i'm a father i can't imagine that sensation of having your baby in your stomach it's like wow that must be very nice okay. you know what I'll, let me do it for you what, one good thing about being a woman is driving because when you have a flat tire yantapacha, <laughs> all you have to do is stand next to your car Right. And somebody will pull over like, <laughs> and ask a stupid question. Se le pincho la llanta. <laughs> <laughs> and they will help you. But when you're a man and you have a flat tire, no pitan la vieja. <laughs> Nobody helps. <laughs> no, I think I think one of the good thing about being a woman is um Wow, it's, it's my respects. You're very strong. You you are very. I mean, to be a mother is is incredible. Yeah. I think I think one of the the things is that is that you come with a with a main sense or the main set, right? To to mindset. give mindset to give birth, right? Because I think you already your your nature like. Does the, the different being a woman, being a man? Mm. So yeah, that's true. I think is is you already come with a with a to to pre be prepared to to give birth. Yeah, and you, to you be know with that. That's true. It's true. Yeah, because I, I don't mm -hmm. think I can I can uh, give birth. Stand with the things, yeah. Sí, pero las mujeres no, no sufren las calenturas que nos dan a nosotros cuando nos da catarro o algo. No saben ese dolor. No, I'm joking, women. Oh, oh. No, you know, you know one, one good thing about being a woman, too. A very good thing about being a woman that si uno es fea, you can paint your hair, change your, your eyes. <laughs> Your eye, you can put <laughs> boobs, you can, I don't know, you can operate everything. And if you're a man, you're ugly, you're ugly, man. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's no option. If you're ugly, there's no, you can't paint your hair, you can't change when, you know, some yeah. men do, but <laughs> you have to deal with that all your life. Huh? Yeah, but. Oh, some, yeah, que, you know, que, some guys they do they do surgery. Yeah, I, that's true. Yeah, you know, many of those just players like like this guy, a Mexican guy, that it was ugly, ugly, ugly guy, um, Hector Herrera. Oh yeah, the, he the did was, it was yeah, he changed the face. Yeah, but el mismo admitió que era bien feo, decía. Right. Yeah. I recommend you, escuchen cuando tengan tiempo. ¿Saben quién es Eric Clapton? I heard about You don't yes, know Eric no, Clapton. Yeah. Well, it's, he's a very, yes, viejito, pero es un rock, cantante de rock muy famoso. Mm -hmm. Canta una canción que se llama Wonderful Tonight. Es de los setentas, but it's a very beautiful song. It's called Wonderful Tonight. Mm -hmm. 
para que una mujer entienda más al hombre, porque él escribió, no se muere, pero a veces hay muchos hombres que si nos dicen a las 8 es la fiesta, a las 7.55 nos vestimos y estamos listos en cinco minutos. Y a veces hay mujeres que se tardan, se cambian tres vestidos. No, no, es que no me gusta cómo me quedé. Es, y esa canción se llama Wonderful Tonight because he is sitting down and he's describing his wife. He says like, we go to a party and she's wondering what clothes to wear. She, she puts on her makeup and brushes her hair. Y me pregunta, do I look all right? And says, you look wonderful tonight. But it's, it's, it's a very beautiful song. Listen to that. And if you have time, and it's very easy to understand. All right. Okay. So one okay. of the great things about, uh, like, uh, let me, se fue Mirna, I think. But one of the great things about being 18 is that you will have fun. <laughs> From 18 to 25, I think is fun to enjoy. Not exceed, yeah. but enjoy. Yes. Uh, Luis Molina, I believe you told me that you are Christian, correct? But I, I, I like it that, that the Christian, I like no, it. But, but you are Christian, correct? Yeah, that's correct, right? What is one good thing about being Christian? Maybe do you know uh, Jesus is a principal leader uh, for the Christian? No, yes, but my question is, like, I want you to tell me one of the good things about Christian is that. Maybe um, that is uh, uh, the, the, how do you say faith, truth? Faith, faith. Um, maybe is is uh, uh, to achieve the the faith when. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. I like Christian people that have good faith are always happy. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Nuri? Nuri, you are a mother, correct? Yes, teacher. How many children do you have? Four. Well, can you tell me what is one good thing about being a mother? Uh, one of the most uh, thing to be a mother. Excuse me. One of the most what? Most beautiful or? Uh, one of the most um, beautiful yeah. things about being beautiful a mother. Uh, be a mother is is to 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 see our to see. To see my babies when they born. Oh yes, yeah, it's true. To sew, to sew my babies when they born. Yes. Yeah, I didn't see my baby when he was born, my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I even can't for, forget her face crying. Oh Making man, that's cry. so cool. Yes. <laughs> Bueno, yo ni me desmayé, ni me dejaron entrar, más bien dicho, porque ya estaba la like, uh. uh, Yeah, so I, I, I sat down, I remember I sat down, and when I woke up, the baby was outside. <laughs> yeah. Very fun, teacher. I discovered that when I'm a father, I discovered I am a very, very, very big chicken. <laughs> because um, when my son was a baby and I had to get his injections mm -hmm. también me sacaron I cried <laughs> I was very nervous and then you know like oh no 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 hold him. yes and the doctor told me Mira, please step outside because I was shaking I was like, <laughs> <laughs> right yes I uh -huh. When they did the I, I COVID the exam on my son, I vomited <clears throat> because I couldn't. Oh my God, le va a doler. And it was only any soap, but still. <laughs> so I, I didn't know. I didn't know I was like that. And Oscar Osvaldo, uh, Osvaldo, where do you live? I live in Soyapan. Can you tell me? Oh, 
Can you tell me <laughs> did, what? Did he say any advantage? The advantage? No, there is any advantage to live in Japan. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, can you tell me one well can you tell me one good thing about living in Soyapango? Well, I think that a good thing about living in Soyapango is that I am near from my job. Oh that, that's Maybe. perfect. Yes. Where do you work? In Lopango. Oh man, yes. In yes, Lopango, see, that, for me it's, it's awesome. <laughs> You don't see traffic yes. that much. Yes, I don't suffer the traffic every day. Oh, I am. Yeah, it is. Oh my God, for me, it's very nice. <laughs> oh man, yes. yes. Jenny, is the traffic in San Miguel very ugly now? In the morning, a little bit, but in the afternoon, it's very, very heavy, the traffic. And I, I take... By 15 minutes in the morning, but in the in the afternoon, 40, 40 minutes, 45. Yeah. Um, I think San Miguel is like one of the only departments that always like people always drive with air conditioning on. <laughs> you don't see hot. yeah, you don't see windows down in San Miguel. And I remember that you only see like pickups and camionetas, like big. Yeah. Nice cars. Um, the the last last two week, I I need to go the fix my car. And I lend my prestaron. Okay, good. Uh -huh. I lend. They the lend me. They lend me a car, but don't have a air condition. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you suffered. Very, very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. Oh man, I could imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, class. So tomorrow, tomorrow we, we're going to be more interactive. Okay, you are, are going to separate in groups, and you are going to talk Teacher. to each other. Yes. Teacher, I, I think you you gonna you gonna help with this part. Uh, I will not. I gonna remember to you tomorrow because this is very hard. You know. Oh no, maybe, we will do this. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. When part couple because I tried this hard and it's so difficult to to com to make this. Has everybody to, done this part? To combine the for me was a, well, it was very hard. I tried tried so many times. Okay. Did everybody do one point eight? No. Oh yeah, that way, teacher. Not sure. Okay, so this is the first thing we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. All right. I will, I will pray. Right. <laughs> Have a very good night. I'll see you okay. tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good